Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. We got a lot of news to talk about this episode, so let's get right to it. My Dress Up Darling revealed two new cast members. Tanezaki Atsumi will be playing Inui Sajuna, and Yomi Ahina will play Inui Shinju. Kodansha announced that Yotsuba Yuto and Ogawa Ryo's Paripi Komei, your boy Kong Ming, will be getting a TV anime adaptation, and it will air April 2022. Both a trailer, a visual were revealed, and the trailer revealed the staff and cast members. Homa Osamu will be directing the anime at PA Works, Yonai Yamayoko will be writing the script, Sekiguchi Kanami will be designing the characters, Hikuto Genki will be composing the music, Hondo Kaede will be playing Tsukimi Eiko, and Oki Ayu Ryotaro will be voicing Zu Kong Ming. Oshima Tsukasa's shoot soccer manga will be receiving a brand new anime. This will be the first anime in 28 years. The anime is titled Shoot Goal to the Future and it will air in 2022. The official website for the mobile game Talked Ops has announced that the game has been delayed beyond 2021. The reasoning so that they can make it a lot better than it is right now. Suiseisha announced that the anime adaptation of the Mimu's Game World Reincarnation Sex on the First Night will be airing on January 9th, 2022. A visual and the cast were revealed. Takatsuka Tomihito will play Cyrus Hiver, Sekine Akira will play Diana Daifel, Shibuya Ayano will play Chris, and Nakamura Shugo will play Spika Daifel. During the Fate Grand Order Caldea livestream for the ongoing Guda Guda 2021 event, it was revealed that Lord Elamaloid 2 Case Files Rail Zeppelin Grace Note will be getting a special episode airing during the Fate Special New Year's Eve broadcast. The new visual that was revealed reveals that Aozaki Toko will appear in the episode. Very excited for this one. Onigunso announced on his Twitter account that their manga Monogatari will be getting a TV anime adaptation. In celebration of the anime, a special illustration was drawn. Yostar Pictures released the first trailer for their upcoming original golf TV anime, Sora Iro Utility. The trailer revealed that the anime will air on December 31st, 2021, and the cast was also revealed. Takaki Miyu will play Minami, Amami Yurina will play Haruka, and Goto Ayasa will play Ayaka. Shu Asia revealed that Takahiro and Takemura Yohei's Mato Seihei no Slave, Slave of the Magic Capital's Elite Troops, will be getting a TV anime adaptation. A visual was revealed as well as two main cast members. Hirose Yua will play Wakura Yuki and Kito Akira will play Uzen Kyoka. Seven Arcs will be producing the anime. The official website for the upcoming TV anime, Koban Joshi no Gyakushu Police in a Pod, has revealed that the anime will be airing January 5th along with a new visual. Kodansha revealed that Takabata Misaki's Skip and Loafer will be getting a TV anime adaptation. More details will be revealed on a later date. The Made in Abyss online fan meeting revealed a new trailer visual for the upcoming Made in Abyss, the golden city of the Scorching Sun. Showtime, Uta no Onesan Datteshitai TV anime has confirmed that a second season is currently in the works. The official website for the Ikki Tosen franchise has revealed that a brand new anime is in the works and it is based off of Shiozaki Yuji's Shin Ikki Tosen. The anime is set to air spring 2022. The anime will star Ohashi Ayaka as Sonken Chubo, Tanezaki Atsumi as Yamada Asaemon, Asano Masumi as Sonsaku Hakuhu, Kaira Yuko as Ryomo Shime, Nabata Hitomi as Kanu Uncho, and Asakawa Yu as Chong Shiryu. A trailer was also revealed. The official website for the upcoming TV anime Slow Loop has released a trailer revealing a new visual, new cast, and a January 7th airing. Nazuka Kaori will play Fukumoto Ichika, Murakami Natsumi will play Fukumoto Futaba, and Inoue Honoka will play Ninomiya Aiko. Azura and Lane announced that the mobile game will be collaborating with TV anime SSSS Gridman and SSSS Dina Zenon, and it starts today, or I guess if you're already in the future, it already started. The following characters will be playable. Takarada Rika, Shinjo Akane, Minami Yume, Asugawa Chise, Mujina, Namiko, and Haas. Shouchiku and Asmic Ace announced that a live action movie adaptation of Clamp's XXXX Holic will release on April 29th, 2022. Kamiki Ryunosuke will play Watanuki Kimihiro, and Shibazaki Ko will play Ichihara Yuko. Very excited for this one. Arc System Works finally revealed a new trailer for the DNF Duel Fighting Game. It's been a year since the reveal and it's awesome to see that they're still working on the game. 
and cannot wait to see some more trailers. I do know that they released a Berserker trailer and uh, they also revealed a couple new characters in the recently released trailer as well. The upcoming second season of Arihudeta has revealed that the anime will be airing January 13th and additional cast members were revealed. Konishi Katsuki will play Freed Bagua and Ishimakoto will play Mikael. Cloverworks reveals the first trailer for their upcoming original TV anime Tokyo Niju Yonku. Compile Heart reveals a new game for their Neptunia series. Hyperdimension Neptunia Sisters vs Sisters, the game is set to release on the PS4 and PS5 on April 21st, 2022. The game will focus on the younger sisters, Nepgear, Uni, Rom, and Ram. Online retailer Rak10 accidentally leaks the details of the upcoming January 2022 issue of Ichijinsa's Comic Zero Sum magazine. On the listing, it reveals that Phantom of the Idol, Kamikuzu Idol, will be getting a TV anime. The official website for the upcoming Love All Ball Badminton TV anime has released a second trailer revealing that Hanae Natsuki will play the main character, Mizushima Ryo. A website has opened revealing that Mishima Yomu's Trapped in a Dating Sim, the world of Otome Games is tough for mobs. Otome Game Sekai wa Mobu ni Kibishi Sekai Desu Light Novel will be airing April 2022. A trailer and visual were revealed along with some cast members. Otsuka Takio will play Leon, Ichinose Kana will play Olivia, and Fairies I will play Angelica. The Shaman King TV anime website revealed a new visual and two additional cast members. Mitsuishi Kotono will play Sati and Kitamura Eri will play Pascal Avaf. During the Utawarirumono 20th anniversary stream, it was revealed that Utawarirumono Mask of Truth will be finally getting a TV anime adaptation. A trailer and visual were revealed, and it was also revealed that Tone Kentaro will be replacing the late Fujiwara Keiji as Oshitoru or Haku. The anime will air in July 2022. It was also revealed that Aqua Plus will be releasing a new Utaware Mono game titled Monochrome Mobius Toki no Taika. Watching the trailer, it looks like the game will involve time travel, and it is possible that it might be a prequel game as well. And familiar characters such as Oshitoru, Minechika, Mikazuki, and more are going to be in the game. The game is set to release next year. So there you guys have it. So much news going on. Honestly, to me, the biggest one out of this is definitely Lord Ellen Malloy, the special episode that's going to be airing New Year's Eve, as well as Utaware Mono, a new game, a new anime. Super excited for this. And, uh, of course, uh, Biskudol is also an anime that I'm really looking forward to as well. Comment down below and tell me what you guys are looking forward to, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!